We're now less than three months away from a total solar eclipse. DFW will be in the path of totality, bringing throngs of people to the area. For those planning to experiencing it, experts say now is the time to get prepared. Here's Ali Spilliards. Oh no, my God. Just a few short months ago, crowds gathered all over the state to take in an annular eclipse, Whoa. getting just a taste of what's to come on April 8th, when the moon will completely cover the sun. All of a sudden, it's going to be pitch dark, and um, it's going to be much cooler. What typically happens during an eclipse is uh, birds start to tweet as if they're about to go to sleep, and you know, animals react as if the sun is setting. As the president of the Space Society of North Texas, Ken Ruffin's been making his plans for the big day for two years. I'm personally excited about it, not so much for myself, but because I know that it will possibly uh, arouse the interest of many people in the general public concerning space and things that are space related. We'll be presenting at a celebration at the Frontiers of Flight Museum, one of countless events across North Texas to witness a spectacle not seen in more than 100 years. So when we say it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, it truly is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Founder of Total Eclipse DFW, Joe Trezilla, says more than one million people are expected to travel to the region, meaning now is the time to secure the eclipse glasses that make looking at the sun safe. Um, we're not going to have enough in, in supply. That's what the American Astronomical Society is telling us, that the film is running low, is there are many fraudsters out there trying to make a buck. And they are selling glasses that say they're ISO compliant, say they're NASA approved. Just a little hint here, NASA doesn't approve anything. So if it has the NASA logo on it, run. Because with eye damage at risk, it's a chance she says no one should take ahead of this once-in-a-lifetime event. I think it's going to be very exciting. Ali Spilliards, NBC5. Good information. There is a list of safe solar filters and viewers from the American Astronomical Society. You'll find that link on our website. Mm. All right, Rick, we are putting in our request yeah. now for a nice, clear day. Uh, nothing, nothing like what we've been having, though, right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That would be a nightmare. Let's hope it's nice and sunny for that. I'm going to think positive thoughts. Let's talk about